Wow, what's up everybody? Uh, this was a very tough loss. As you could see they dropped a 40 burger on us. 42 to 17. Giving us our first loss of the year. We're now 1 and 1. Denver moves on to be 2 and 0. Oh. Um, wow, I mean, I don't even know where to begin. And I think, you know, Shango, Shango really did a, made a good point in his video about you can't really blame one. Th like if Romo was still here, we'd say, oh, it's Romo's fault or whoever. But um, you can't really put blame on like just one thing. I think that it's, it's just a lot of things rolled into one. I think it, we just had a shitty start. Uh, the penalties fucked us up early on. And on defense, or on, on Denver side, they just fucking out coached us and outplayed us. I mean, their defense was like, wow. I mean, you think DeMarcus Ware was still there. I mean, they don't even need DeMarcus Ware. You know, it's like they, their defense just, I mean, so much for that mountainous, uh, Great Wall of Dallas Mach 2. So much for that shit. I mean, they just, annihilated our offensive line and and attacked Dak like I mean they they had the perfect game plan to to uh get after Dak and they and they really got after Dak and they, I think the way they, they just pressured him to where Dak was not Dak today and and their secondary played great you know they they covered Dez and who I'm really disappointed in Dez by the way uh, although I'm not blaming him specifically for the loss. Everything. I mean, oh, and of course they stuffed the run. And, you know, Zeke couldn't get nothing done. So they, I mean, everything. They did everything right on defense. They stuffed the run. They, their secondary covered, uh, is perfectly, and everything. They got to Dak. They, every, from top to bottom. Uh, and then offensively, they, they just, they shredded us. Uh, they got they they were really really good high percentage on third down conversions. They they I don't even think they punted. I think they punted once or twice in the whole game. And you know, with us, because their defense played so good, we couldn't do shit on offense. Defensively, you know, we we lost. You know, it was really a body bag game. They lost their offensive linemen. We lost two of our corners, uh, Carroll and um, Cheeto. So you know, there's that, and you know, we just they they just kept getting first downs and they ran through us. It looks like the same old shitty offense that we've seen, like last year. That th this our our or defense. Well part offense but defensively specifically i meant uh it's the defense that everybody warned us that would happen against the giants originally but now it, it's in this game this is the, the the defense the cowboys defense that everybody said was gonna be a problem and it's it is and ah, we just couldn't do anything and they they did everything right and we just everything out coached and out uh out coached and outplayed everything just you know it's really not one thing it's a it's a mediocre performance from top to bottom from the coaches players everything so oh man i mean you know and it just proves that that the and you know i did have a little bit of there was a part of me I wasn't, I was, you know, confident as you heard in my pregame video, but there was, even though I was confident, I, I, there was just a little bit of fear in me before the game started about, it's like, well, you know, that, that Broncos defense is pretty good. And then, but they, well, their, I mean, their defense completely, uh, not, I mean, they, they destroyed us and, and stopped us way more than I thought. I mean, I mean, big credit to the Broncos defense. I mean, it really, it's more about the Broncos defense just playing better. And it's more about how, how they dominated us rather than us fucking up. It's more, oops, 
<laughs> go see my screensaver. Did you guys see that? <laughs> he said, go Cowboys on it. But so, you know, that, that's just, that's really the, the game is that their defense just completely outmanned us, outplayed us, everything. And that's really what happened in this game. It's really not, oh, well, we fucked up or we had an off game or Dak didn't look right or Dez didn't look right or, you know, uh, our secondary had injuries. It's more just the Broncos just played better, period. I mean, that's it. There really isn't any other explanation is that Broncos just completely kicked our ass and they, they did everything right while we did everything wrong. So we have, uh, okay, so on the flip side of that, just to, you know, somewhat be as positive as I can after a loss like this, uh, the only thing is that this is an early loss, so it's not the end of the world. doesn't mean we're going to be knocked out of the playoffs or the, the world is ending or, you know, all that shit. I think it's it's an early loss, so we could, you know, Garrett and everybody can go look back, say, okay, what did we do wrong? How can we adjust our game plan and our everything, you know, philosophy-wise? And, you know, what can we do to improve and not have such a uh, mediocre performance like this on all sides of the ball? So that's, you know, they really just have to analyze this. Really. And, you know, we do have an extra day off because we play on Monday next week. So, you know, it gives us time to really study and uh see what went wrong and and basically you know the reason why we did so well against new york was because new york's defense fucking sucks it's not as good as i thought it was and their offensive line sucks like how ours sucked today <laughs> and i think the broncos defense well, that's not even i mean like again they're it's very possible that denver could be going back to the super bowl this year Really, and I think I think the Falcons. After I just watched the Falcons game too, and I think it could be the Broncos versus Falcons for the Super Bowl, or one, or even the Raiders. I mean, I I I know Super Bowl talk is way <laughs> early, but just from what I'm, I mean, look, the Broncos are undefeated. The the Raiders of all people are undefeated. Who would have thought that? I mean, I did. I always believed in the Raiders, but I mean, you know, they're really they're that's a hell of a division now. Is is Denver, uh, Kansas City, and Oakland, uh, future uh, Las Vegas Raiders, I should say. So that's that's the and then we're playing all those teams. Even hell, even San Diego, man, shit. I mean, it's just like. But you know, just you just gotta hope and pray that they make major, major, major adjustments in this this week, and. Uh, you know, because next up is Arizona, and they're you know. It's another road game, and Arizona looks pretty good. And that's another team that has a really solid defense, good offense as well that, that can, you know, if we play like we played, then you expect another really big loss against the Cardinals next week if we if we don't make some major adjustments and get, get our shit together because this is going to be bad. So I did not expect us to lose like this at all. I thought it'd be, if we were to lose, I thought it'd be a lot closer than this. But um, So... Our drought against the Broncos continues. We have not beaten the Broncos since 1995. Since the last time we won the Super Bowl. I mean, God, we, what it is, I don't know what it is about the Broncos. We just fucking have not been able to beat them at all. So I don't know what it is, but something in the air, thin air up there. <laughs> oh, so next up is Arizona. Got to make major adjustments because Arizona can beat us just like this. So uh, when I do my pick video on Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to pick the Cardinals because that's my thing. If the Cowboys, especially the way they lost like this, then I can't, I'm not going to be a fucking homer and just say, oh yeah, we'll bounce back. No, the way, I'm not saying that we can't beat the, the uh, uh, Arizona Cardinals, but I think that we just after a loss like that i can't be a homer and pick us to win next week so i'm gonna have to pick the the cardinals next week but so the cowboys better prove me wrong and get get their shit together and and uh you know have a completely different game plan uh this 
next week, next Monday against the uh, cards because we're this is if if this continues, this is going to you know it's going to be another one of those seasons where it's like we always have we have a fourteen and twelve uh, fourteen and not fourteen. What am I trying to say? Twelve and four. 12 and 4 record or a 13 and 3 record like last year. And then the following year is shit. 2008, uh, 2015, 2010. It's like, you know, anytime we have a winning season, <clears throat> excuse me, it's just, we always have a shitty season after. I don't know. It's, it's consistency. And, you know, a lot of it is coaching staff, um, poor draft. Not that we, ha we haven't had a poor drafting that much recently but a lot of it is is inconsistency and that comes from the top that comes from the coaching staff so inconsistency and just you know something you know they got to make a major 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 adjustment right now so or this season is gonna again i'm not saying it's over i'm not gonna be like complete panic mode and hit the doomsday button yet and just say fuck it but if they do this next week, I mean, even if we lose 19 to 20 or something, even, I mean, just another L next week is, is really going to put a real dark cloud over this team. So if they make adjustments and if we're able to beat the cards, then okay, you know, then we'll be right on back on the right track. But as of right now, oh, yeah, 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 I don't know. So anyway, it's not looking good right now. So anyway, that's all for this week, and let's just hope we have a better result next week. And, uh, you know, again, they better change their tune or it's going to really just go down the shitter and it's going to be another inconsistent, losing record, shitty year. And uh, then all the haters are going to be right, and this this week they were right. So, But anyway, um, stay tuned. Um on Tuesday or Wednesday and I'll do my pick video obviously as I just said I'm not going to pick the Cowboys so until they prove me wrong then I'll pick them again but as of right now uh, nope <laughs> it's just like it's uh really bad right now but what can you do to see what they do next week all right so anyway I'll catch you guys later on um in this uh upcoming week and we'll see what happens all right anyway go Cowboys anyway do better, you bastards. <laughs> this is, ugh, it's just leaves such a bad taste in our mouths, but oh well. Anyway, catch y'all a uh, couple of days, all right? Peace out.